All right, let's continue okay, after a short break. So someone asked why we didn't calculate C12. Yes, we should calculate every entry. I just give two examples. Okay, I just give two examples. C11, C13. Okay, C11, C13. And then C12. We need to calculate those one by one. Okay, we need to calculate those one by one. Now, let me show you a quick way. Okay, we are not going to write all those in so many with so many details. Okay, let me show you a quick way. What does this formula mean? Okay, what does for this formula mean? So, matrix C is A times B, right? So, A times B. That means we will look at by row for the first matrix. We will look at by column for the second matrix. So what does C11 mean? C11 will be the first row times the first column. So three, three and minus two, minus two and four. Everyone is clear? Three times minus two plus minus two times four. So that's why we get minus fourteen. And then how can we do C one two? How can we do C one two? C one two which means the first row. <coughs> excuse me. C one two. Let's continue C one two. What does C one two mean? C one two means the first row, the second column. The first row in in matrix A, the second column in matrix B. So that will be three minus two times one one, right? So three three times one plus minus two times one. Of course, it's one. Everyone is clear. And then C two one. C two one means here two one means the second row. Second row and the first column. Okay, second row, first column. So you will look at two four minus two four. Okay, two four minus two four. So two times minus two, which is minus four, plus four times four, sixteen. Minus four plus sixteen, twelve. Right, twelve. And then C two two. Okay, and then C two two. C two two will um let me let me rewrite in this way okay let me rewrite in this way I repeat I yes I repeat so C let me write everyone okay let me write everyone then you get it C one two what does C12 mean? C12 means the first column, the first column in A, the, uh, the first row in A, the second column in B. So that will be 3 times 1 plus minus 2 times 1. So that's why we get 1, right? That's why we get 1. Then how about C21 I did? C21 is the second row in A times the first column in B. Second row is 2, 4 times minus 2, 4. 2 times minus 2 plus 4 times 4. That's why we get 12. Okay, that's why we get 12. And then C22. C22. C22, which means the second row in A and the second column in B. So that is two times one plus four times one. We get six. Okay, we get six. Then C two three, C two three, which is the second row in A, third column in B, second row in A, two times three plus four times six. So that is thirty. That is thirty, right? And then three one, okay? Three one, three one. That will be. Let's calculate another three, okay? Another three.
C31, okay? C31, which means the first row in A times the first column in B. Uh, the, the third row in A times the first column. So 1 times minus 2. It's very hard. I didn't, you didn't understand. Then try to follow it, okay? Matrix multiplication is not easy, okay? It's not easy. So 1 times minus 2 plus minus 4 times, minus 3 times 4 which is minus 14. And then C32. C32. First row times the second column. A third row. Third row, 1 times 1 plus minus 3 times 1. So it's minus 2. And finally, C33 will be the third row and the third column. 1 times 3 plus minus 3 times 6. Check all the green numbers I did. Okay. Check all the green numbers I did. So that will be minus 15. That is the matrix C. Okay. That is matrix C. So my matrix C will be 3 by 3. 14, 1, minus 3. 12, 6, 30, minus 14, minus 4, minus 15. Okay. So that is the formula again, okay? C, I, J, each entry, each entry at the J, I's row, J's column in the matrix C, that will be calculated as A, I, row vector, the I's row vector times the J's column vector. That is the formula, okay? That is the formula. Let's do an easy one. Okay, let's do an easy one. And the, how to decide it, the format of the matrix C, 3 by 3, right? M by N, M by R. So here is, this is M by N, right? M by N, M by R. So matrix C is M by R, right? Everyone is clear? Now, for this matrix again, okay, this matrix again, we are going to calculate B times A. Let me repeat the formula again. C, I, J. C, I, J equals I's row times J's column. So that will be K equals K starting from 1 to the end. A I K times B K J. That is the former. Okay, that is the former. Then let's calculate B times A. Okay, not my matrix C. My matrix C will be B times A. Mm. So for this one, we are going to calculate B times A. Now let's check matrix B. Matrix B is two rows and three columns. Matrix A is three rows, two columns. Then my matrix C equals B times A. So here, first matrix is M by N. Second matrix is M by R, okay? So we write in this form. The first matrix B is M by R, the format. M by N, sorry. And the second matrix is M by R. 
So n equals three disappear. Then what is m by r? What is m by r for matrix C when we have b times a? That will be two by two, right? Two by two. So that will be two by two, which means my matrix C, okay? My matrix C b equals b times a, which is C I G. This is another matrix, okay? This is another matrix. I just represent, I just represent the product of b and a as matrix C forms a new matrix. So it's two by two. We will have four entries. This one is much easier, okay? What does R stand for? It's a format. It's a format of each matrix. Just to choose different letters, different letter M and N, R. Okay, they are different, which means usually M and R, they are different. But by chance here, M and R, they both equal to two, right? They both equal to two. Now let's calculate those four entries, okay? Those four entries. C11, C11, yes, 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 they are not square. The row and the columns, they are usually different, M by N, M by R, they are different. So let's calculate each entry. C11, that will be first row in A, uh, sorry, oh, here, here, uh, here, the former change. Okay, the former change here should be B times A. Okay, B times A should be B times A. Then that will be the B row vector. Okay, B I times A J column vector. It's change. Okay, it's change. Then that equals B I K A K J. Okay, it's different. B times A. Okay, B times A. So we will look at the matrix B by row, and we will look at matrix A by columns. That is B times A. Okay, that is B times A. So that will be B one. I mean, look at the matrix by row or by column. That that is pretty easy, right? That is pretty easy. So what does B times A mean? B one row vector. B one. This is B one row vector. What is A one column vector here, right? It's easy. So minus two, minus two times three plus one times two plus three times one. Everyone is clear. Minus two times three. So B11 times A11, B B12 times A21, B13 times A31, right? Minus two times three plus one times two plus three times one. That is C11, which is minus one, right? Which is minus one. And then C12, C12 will be the row vector B1 times A2 column vector. So that goes to the second column, right? That goes to the second column of matrix A. So that will be the same B1 row vector. So minus 2 times minus 2 plus 1 times 4 plus 3 times minus 3. So the answer is four, four, minus one again. Yes, minus one again. So do we have some students? Are there, are there any students get it? Okay, get the, 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 the matrix multiplication. If you get it, then it's easy. Just do the simple number calculations, okay? Take the product first, then take the sum. C21, C21 is B2 row vector times A1, 
A1 kilometer. B2, B2 is here, row vector 416, right? Goes to the third, first column, 3, 2, 1. So that will be 4 times 3, plus 1 times 2, plus 6 times 1, which is 12 plus 8, 20. So that is C21. Now finally, let's calculate C22, which is B2 row vector times A2 column vector. And second row and second row in B, second column in B. So that will be 4 times minus 2 plus 1 times 4 plus C11, C21, C31 in first row. So someone ask the question. Someone ask the question. It's good because this part some students feel confused, right? Confused. Let's check what 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 do you think? Okay. C one one, C two one, C three one in the first row. What is the format? What is the format for the matrix C if we calculate B times A? If we calculate B times H A? Yes, we did the opposite one. It's not repeat the, 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 the previous one. It's a different one, okay? It's a different one. The previous one, the previous one, we calculate A times B based on those two matrix A, B. Now we are doing Different question. We are calculate B times A. As I told you, what is the format? The first matrix we write M by N. Second matrix we write M by R. Then what is the format for B times A? M by R. What is M? Two. And what is R? Two. We only have two by two format for C. How can you get C31? And by the way, if it's the first row, that will be C11, C12, C3, C13. This one is the second row, first column. Third row, first column. How can those be the first row? So it's completely wrong. Okay, completely wrong. As I said, I always said, We change B A, but not change the order of C. You can write the C as D, okay? If you feel confusing, you can write it as an another matrix D. If you feel confusing with the previous one, let's define it as another matrix D. It doesn't matter, just the notation, but the position will not change. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, the position is always the same, right? Because I, J means I throw J's entry. So we can write matrix D if you feel confusing. I can use another notation, okay? D, 1, 1, D, 1, 2. First row is always one 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 two one n. We repeat the the linear system, okay? Those matrix again and again. If you still feel confused with those two subscript the two digit subscript, then you get trouble. Okay, then you get trouble. So that is D one one, D one two, D two one. D22. Now let me finish here. Okay. Now let me finish here. So D22. D22 is B2 times A2. 4 times minus 2. 1 times 4 plus 6 times minus 3. So finally will be uh, minus 18. Minus 18 minus 26 so minus 26 plus 4 minus 22 what is my matrix d what is b times a there is no need to, to represent d you just write b times a finally equals d11 here here 
minus 1. This 1, 2, D1, 2 is here, minus 1, right? D2, 1 is 20, 20 is here. D2, 2 is minus 22. If you write your matrix in this way, then it's wrong, okay? Then it's wrong. And you, if your calculation in any entry is wrong, then your final matrix is wrong, okay? So from here, you will notice that comparing A times B and B times A, usually they are not the same, right? Usually they are not the same. So that means matrix multiplication is not competitive because A times B, in the previous example, A times B is 3 by 3 format, okay? It's 3 by 3 format. So any other questions? I will I will explain one more example, okay? One more example about the matrix calculation, multiplication. So for this one, okay, for this one, we will calculate both. We will calculate B A and A B. We will calculate both matrix multiplication. Now, B A, okay, if it's B A, I will check the format. So B, B, what is the format for B? Three row, two column. What is the format for matrix A? Two row, two column. Again, this is M by N. The first matrix is M by N, M by R, right? M by R. Just by chance, A and N and R are the same. Okay, N and R are the same. Then, then what is what is the? I can write the new matrix C equals B A. What is the format for C? This is N. This is M by N. This is M by R. N equals two. So that will be M by R. What is M by R? Three by two, right? Three by two. Make sense? So actually actually C is equals B times A, that will be three row. Be careful of the subscript, okay? One, two, three row and two columns. C two one, C two two. The first column is C one one, C two one, C three one. And then let's calculate, okay? Let's calculate. C11. What is C11? B times A, so that will be B1 row vector times A1 column vector, right? B1 row vector. 1, 2 times 3, 1. That is pretty easy. 1 times 3 plus... 2 times 1, which is 5, right? Which is 5. And then C12, which is first row vector times second column vector in B. So that is first row again, 1, 2 times 4, 2, right? 1, 2 times 4, 2. 1 times 4 plus 2 times 2, which is 8. C21. C21 is second row vector, okay? Second row vector times first, times first, column vector. Second row vector, which is 4, 5, times 3, 1. 4 times 3 plus 5 times 1, which is 17. Right? Which is 17. And then C22 equals B2 row vector times A2 column vector. 4, 5, 4, 2. 4 times 4 plus 5 times 2, which is 26. Right? 26. And then C31. C31 is B3 row vector times A1 column vector. So it's 3, 6 times 3, 1. 
3 times 3 plus 6 times 1, which is 15, right? Which is 15. And then the last entry, C3, 2, which is B3, row vector times A2, column vector, 3, 6 times 4, 2. 3 times 4 plus 6 times 2, which is 20. So what is the what is the matrix C? What is B times A? B times A is the matrix 3 by 2, right? So which is 5, 8, 17, 26, 15, 20. Be careful of the position. C12. C12 and C21, they are different. C12 is here. C21 is here, 17, right? So that is B times A. Now let's check A times B. Let's check A times B. Now for A times B, it's 24. Oh, yes, yes, it's 24. Yes, the last one. C three two, right? C three two. Here is twelve plus twelve, which is twenty-four. Twenty-four. Right? And then let's check B times A. Okay, let's check oh sorry, let's check A times B. A times B, the format for A, two by two. B. 3 by 2, right? Now, now, C equals A times B. Let's check the matrix format, okay? Let's check the matrix format. Here, the first matrix is M by N. The second matrix is M by R. But here, N is 2 in matrix A. N is 3 in matrix B. So the N, they are not the same. This number N, this number N, they are not the same. So we cannot do A times B. Okay? We cannot do A times B. Or you can check that. You can check that. If you do the, if you do the rows, okay? For example, if you calculate C11, which is a1 row vector times the B1 column vector. What is the row vector? 3, 4, right? 3, 4. What is the column vector? 1, 3, 1, 4, 3. How can you do the multiplication? We only have two elements in A, but we have three elements in B, in B1. So we cannot do any A times B, okay? So for this metric, for this example, we can calculate BA. BA gives a matrix 3 by 2, okay, 3 by 2. But we cannot calculate AB because the format does not match, okay, does not match. Or we will see A times B not existed, okay, A times B not existed. So what does this mean? A times B and B times the A, they are not equal to each other usually, okay? That is the conclusion, okay? Conclusion. That's why, and the previous example is the same. The previous example, A times B is 3 by 3. B times A is 2 by 2. The format are not the same. How can we call those two metrics they are the same? It's impossible, okay? What does this imply? Matrix multiplication is not commutative. Okay? Matrix multiplication is not commutative. This is the important property. Okay? So we have 10 minutes left, then we will do a quiz, okay? We will do a simple uh, calculations based on the matrix, okay?
So here, let me explain, okay? Let me explain. So for this one, okay, for this one, this is pretty easy because they are all two by two, right? Both three given matrix are two by two. So we need to do this calculation, okay? We need to do this calculation, which means you need to calculate a new matrix D, which is B times C, okay? Since B and C are both 2 by 2, so M by N, M by R, so D is also 2 by 2, right? 2 by 2. So you need to calculate matrix B times matrix C, so you need to get D11, D12, D21, and then D22. This is the new matrix D, right? And then you do A matrix A plus D. We can do the addition because matrix A and D, they are both 2 by 2 format, okay? So finally, you need to enter, you need to enter, so that is A plus D, okay? I write A plus D in this way, A11, A12, A21, A22. You need to enter four entries, okay? Four entries for the final matrix, okay? So you need to fill in the blank, four. You need to fill into four blanks, A11, A12, A21, A22, as the four entries for this final matrix. Everyone is clear? So let me send the quiz, okay? Let me send the quiz. This matrix calculation is pretty easy, okay? Just uh, two by two, you need to calculate four.